Hi there, welcome to On Stuff with Jeff, where I'm Jeff and I talk about my stuff. Today's is a special uh, Black History Month Cryptometallum bonus video. Today is, uh, well, the month of February is Canada's Black History Month. That's where we remember, you know, uh, celebrate and acknowledge a lot of the accomplishments and, of course, uh, a lot of the, uh, the trauma that uh, Black people still have to face today. Not just in the past, but now um, it, we it, that that covers everything from, you know, uh, <clears throat> try you know try making an effort to learn about uh, the African civilizations, like the Yoruba and the the uh, the like the story of of how the Moro may have crossed the desert to found the kingdom of uh, uh, Kanem Barno, uh, the um, the uh, uh, manufacturing trading, uh, you know, uh, civilization of the Shona at at uh, Great Zimbabwe. You know, they traded with Ming China. Uh, this it's also obviously we learn about what black people have had to face uh, with uh, you know uh, d during and after slavery. Uh, a lot of the problems that they to this day. I mean, I I have friends who have had you know the the police follow them around. You know, and they're just you know driving, walking while black. Basically, it's uh, it's not okay. And you know, we got to stop just talking about this. And we all have to do something about it. We all have to you know say you know that that's you know try to, you know advocate for change. You know, being part indigenous myself, although I've never I don't look that indigenous. I I know that even in Canada. There have there there are problems with the way Indigenous people are treated here. Uh, it's very similar to what happens in the states. You know, not always as overt. You know, uh, uh, with uh, you know with the police shootings and stuff like that. But certainly in the jail system, in, you know, the correctional system, uh, you know, uh, the legal system, even you know, uh, there, you know, things have to change. Uh, but. We're here to talk about uh, metal, and you know one of the things I've noticed is that uh, there seem to be a lot of uh, science fiction fantasy authors who are black. Like this uh, Nella Hawkinson, she's fantastic. Uh, here's another one, Stephen Barnes, uh, the Aubrey Promise books. This is the second one. I lent the other one to my dad for COVID, COVID support. Uh, you know this is like a, a cyberpunk book without the cyber. Uh, and of course, the legendary Octavia Butler, a giant of science fiction. There are even uh, a tabletop game, fantasy game designers who are black, like Mike, Mike, Pondsprit, yeah, Mike Pondsmith. Uh, most people would know him as the designer of, uh, of uh, the cyberpunk RPG, which, you know, uh, in addition to, of course, you know the, the William Gibson. You know creating the genre, he created a lot of the uh, you know a lot of the uh, uh, visual uh, aspects of of the genre. You know, kind of like the the you know uh, you if you've seen the movie Johnny Mnemonic, M uh, Mnemonic with Keanu Reeves, a lot of the imagery in that in the you know some of the dialogue even the style of dialogue, a lot of that you know uh, uh, the look may not have been totally taken from the short story, but it was taken from uh, Mr. Pondsmith's uh, ideas. Uh, another one, another, this is a good friend of mine. He uh, created uh, a whole, not just Game of Thrones CCG, but a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of board games and, and, and a few other CCGs. Uh, so, I mean, there seemed to be a lot, there seemed to be a lot of, uh, a lot of other you know a lot of other uh, you know uh, creative creative endeavors that uh, have a lot of you know black people behind them but heavy metal doesn't seem to have that i mean we've got it right at the beginning we had um you know jimmy hendrix who kind of you know uh had the the guitar you know the the guitar style now where did i put that album just had it out here we go oh oh sorry my uh nice window lightsaber um these guys, Living Color, 
speaking of Jimi Hendrix, they, uh, you know, kind of uh, are reminiscent of, of him. Um, I've got the tape. Yeah, no, I left, I left the tape back there. But uh, they're a great band. Um, and uh, ch -ch -ch, these guys got their band camp page, Dimagar Satanum. They're a black metal band. They're basically, you know, traditional, you know, uh, satanic black metal. Um, you know, they only have two EPs in a, in a split, uh, and I can't find any of them. <laughs> you know, I can't, you know, uh, not there. Yeah. I, uh, I've been trying to find their, find, uh, find a way to pick up any of their stuff, but, uh, I mean, th this is, this is good stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's aggressive, a little chunky. It's, uh, you know, it has that, uh, that, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, low quality, um, uh, production, you know, where every, you know, the, the, you know, reverb and distortion is all pushed up to 11 type of thing. Uh, and, and, and they're good. Uh, they're from Soweto actually, uh, living colors, American, these guys, so, um, Dimagas, Satanum are from Soweto in South Africa. Wouldn't mind if they would put out some songs, uh, at least at least one in like Zosa or 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 uh, or, or something. Um, that's a language from from South Africa. Um, so yeah, I mean, black metal is dis or sorry, heavy metal is descended from blues j and, and and jazz bebop. You know, uh, so I, I'm a little confused as to why I can't find any black heavy metal, uh, heavy metal bands. Uh, so if anybody out there is aware of any, let me know, you know, uh, you know, it could be black metal, they could be, you know, death doom or just, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, it's just traditional heavy metal you know, or like the, you know, like a rainbow type of heavy metal, uh, just anything. Let me know and, uh, put, you know, add it to the comments below. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's a short list, right? Um, so if you like listening to me ramble on about heavy metal, uh, you know, uh, like, subscribe, ding the little bell, look me up on my, uh, on my, uh, 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 you know, Twitter or Facebook or, um, uh, Instagram. Well, mostly it's my Instagram. I just put pictures there, just nothing too serious because I'm pretty heavily involved in politics up here in Canada. So, uh, yeah. So there you go. Thanks a lot and uh, happy Black History Month.